This is the Rio Chuelo River in Buenos Aires, Argentina, before the Supreme Court ordered the cleanup. This is the riverbank after the cleanup had begun. And this is Daniel Salaberry, the lawyer whose lawsuit forced 44 companies and all three levels of government to clean up the river. This is one of a thousand toxic crude oil dumps left by Texaco in the Amazon rainforest 50 years ago. And this is Pablo Fallardo, the young indigenous lawyer who sued Texaco and its successor Chevron and won a $9.5 billion judgment in the Supreme Court of Ecuador. I'm Silver Donald Cameron, host of thegreeninterview.com, producers of the feature documentary Green Rights, and I want to take you with me on an incredible journey for justice. All over the world, bold and courageous lawyers and citizens are using the law to defend your right to clean air and water and to help heal Mother Earth. Come with me to the peaks of the Andes and the great cities of Europe, to the tropical islands of the Philippines, and the reflecting pools of the Taj Mahal, to Times Square in New York, and to the wild shoreline of the Pacific Northwest. I promise you a journey that will stretch your mind, lift your spirits, and give you hope. I want you to think about the law, which is the DNA of human society. I want you to think about the way the law shapes our lives now, and the way that better laws can shape a better future. You'll meet Alberto Acosta, who led the national consultation that embedded the rights of Mother Earth in the Constitution of Ecuador. This is his inspiring young colleague, Natalia Green. You'll meet Tony Oposa, who on behalf of future generations sued the Philippine government and the forest companies to stop old growth logging and won. You'll hear Santiago Manuel, who took eight bullets to his gut while defending his indigenous ancestral lands in Peru. You'll meet Aboriginal law professor John Burroughs and legal scholar David Boyd, who literally wrote the book on the spread of environmental rights around the planet. Canada is one of 16 countries that do not recognize those rights, but the legendary David Suzuki is leading the drive to embed those rights in the Canadian legal system, and two American lawyers, Mary Margill and Thomas Lindsay, are doing the same work in the United States. This is Michelle Maloney of Queensland, Australia, who is using the legal system to combat the massive expansion of coal shipping through the Great Barrier Reef. This is Mumta Ito, a British lawyer who is organizing a million signatures to put environmental rights high on the agenda of the European Union. I'll take you to meet Cormac Cullen, South African lawyer, author of the seminal book Wild Law, and co-author of the Universal Declaration of the Rights of Mother Earth and we'll take you to the first ever global tribunal on the rights of Mother Earth, chaired by Vandana Shiva. It's the first step towards the creation of an international court of environmental justice, where massive environmental crimes like the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico can be heard and judged and dealt with. And if you can, please donate to help us finish the film. We've accumulated all the footage you've just seen on a budget raised from friends and colleagues that would hardly buy you a good used car. Go to our website, www.greenrights.com, to learn more about the whole Green Rights Project, three films, actually, and a book, and a stimulating set of interviews posted to the web. And if you can make a contribution, please do. Just click the donate button on our website and follow the prompts. Thank you and welcome aboard. Mm -hmm.